All right, welcome back. So in this session, we're going to learn how to create the scale up operation, the surface high speed scale up operation. And this operation is mainly used to basically machine inside pockets or on grooves as well. OK, so anything that you see basically standing out or inside of a groove or pockets. OK, so those are the main re uh, areas that you use scale up for. And mainly it's because it allows the tool to stay down at all time, machining either around the groove or inside the pocket and keeping the tool down with minimal retraction. So you can machine your part a lot faster. OK, so this is the part that we left uh, from my uh, last uh, uh, video. And we want to actually toggle between uh, this model, the stock model that we just created and the regular part. So if you want to go back to the regular part that you've created earlier, all you have to do is hold control and hit T and you'll go back here. Now we need to do that and then come over here under levels, select triangular geometry that we've created. We want to make sure that these geometries are shown and select OK. All right. So after you do that, uh, we're going to basically use these geometries right here to contain the tool inside this area. Uh, so come over here under toolpath, surface high speed and scale up. Uh, come over here and select QM surfaces, quick mask surfaces, hit enter. And now for containment, so there's two ways to do this. You can select containment and select one of the triangles or uh, and then copy that operation after you after you're finished creating everything, all the entire operation. You can copy that operation around eight times or you can just select all the surfaces right now. So I'm going to elect to select them all right now. That's easier for me to do. Uh, there is no right or wrong way to do this. Select OK and OK again. All right. So for the tool, we want to use a quarter of an inch ball and mill. So go to filter, select the ball or sphere and make sure it's a I'm sorry, it's a one eighth inch, not a quarter of an inch. So 0.125. OK, select OK, select it and select OK. And over here, we want to call it high speed scallop. For the operation, we can keep the holder the same. Cut parameters. Let's go ahead and change this step over to 0.125 and make sure to um, uncheck the expand inside to outside. We want to beca because we want to keep everything in the inside. And also, let's go ahead and machine it to depth and to the zeros on the floor. We don't want to leave any material uh, in the bottom of the pocket. We don't want to come back in with another tool. So let's do this. Okay. Uh, tool containment, we can keep everything the same as well as centered and compensation. Transition type for the angle, come over here and change that to about 25, 30 degrees is good. Steep shallow, we can keep that the same. And go to Lincoln parameters. Let's go ahead and change the vertical uh, to minimal retract, vertical retract to keep the tool down. And you can do output feed move at about 600. Okay. Now, this is a um, value that you can play around with depending on your preferences, 500, 600, 700. Uh, they would all work for this one. And for the clearance, let's go ahead and make it 1.0. Apply and OK. Now, it might take a little bit to calculate. Remember this uh, symbol right here, meaning it is still generating the toolpath for you. So give it a little bit until it's uh, finished creating your toolpath. There you go. All your toolpath are created. Now, what you want to do now after you do get done creating that, come over here under Backplot Verify Operation and select Stock Post Area Rough for the stock. You want to make sure that is selected over here. So it will use the stock um, that we just created over here to machine from here on out and select OK. Now, all you need to do is select this operation, not the first one, just the last one and select Verify. OK, and you will notice that now it used that previous stock that we've created to start your new operation. So you don't need to select a second operation. Remember, usually we have to select all our operations so we can see every step at a time. But because we created the we used the last operation to create a stock from it, it uses that over here to create the stock. So let's go ahead and play this and see what we get. So there you go. You see your tool coming in all the way down and then it circles around to finish off the material that's in the middle of the part. Now I'm playing that a little bit uh, fast. So you can't see it very, done very smooth. Uh, but because there's a lot of parts, I'm going to stop it and forward it all the way to the end so you can see the finished product.
All right. And there you go. Looks really good. All of my pocket are machined and finished. So this concludes uh, this session of creating the high-speed scale-up operation.